Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RBT. So if you remember back in the days when uh, I think it's been like maybe two years, I was I started building the uh, workshop and uh, never finished it, you know, took everything out. And if you want to check that out, when I started the, building the workshop, it's going to be right there or right there somewhere, that corner or that corner. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I never got to finish and because we sold the place, I took everything out. I brought the building here to my new property and it's just been sitting there. And I had the same building for like three years. It's kind of windy out here, so if you can hear me, I apologize. But um, well, it's been sitting back there, you know, a lot of grass and weeds and stuff are growing around it. And uh, so we finally, you know, got a, went to the bank, got a loan and you know it's just right now so we needed to build something with it actually not something but we actually need we need to build it so it just doesn't just sit there and waste you know a lot of money just laying on the ground and uh so we tried to get a loan and cut some uh, money out and uh and i'll show you what uh what they have done and i didn't record any of this because you know they were out here doing so a crew out here and you know I didn't want to make it uncomfortable to them so I decided to wait until they finish and pretty much everything before then uh, they did the same thing as I did when I started doing the project and actually it, I, I started I, I was doing it more of a uh, like a home foundation you know and actually like a more of a I'm not, I'm not gonna say commercial since I don't know much about commercial buildings, but uh, I did, you know, I was overdoing it. Um, oh, the, the way they did it, you know, it, it's more, uh, it was less of a, uh, the way I would have done it, but, you know, I wasn't doing it, so <laughs> that's a big help for me because. The way I was doing it, it took me like a lot, it's like six months to get to the point where where I was on the on when I was building it. But I'm gonna show you what they have done now, and and I'll show you what what they've been what they did because I did take some video beforehand before they poured the concrete on here. Well, first I'm gonna show you the uh, retaining wall. We actually had to do a retaining wall here because they shaved a lot of these. Uh, dirt over here save it off so I can drag the dirt out to where the uh, foundation is now sitting um, most of it is just went past from where the foundation is but I'll show you here in a minute it's hard to explain it but this is a big long wall that the retaining wall they had to build and, um, and this is the uh, foundation houses over there all the uh, plumbing I did it myself this is actually the uh, the panel for the electrical I decided to put it in here inside the the building instead of way over there the electrical is way over there and then I put a inlet right there it goes in and this right here the sewer lines I put the main three inch coming in from the same location and it goes in and then uh, it comes out all the way up here. This is gonna be like a clean out slash vent for it's gonna be venting the uh, the toilet and also gonna be venting the shower. I did put a P trap under there. Um, and it, it did go past the uh, the dirt underneath, so this is not directly sitting under under the slab. The slab. Um, the builder, I mean the foundation guy. He uh, he gave me a chance to put this down there because they have done. They have already put the uh, uh, vapor barrier on this side and the rebar, 
and that's how I'll, I'll let you I, I won't put any rebar or anything like that on this side on this section from here to that side they didn't put anything so he gave me opportunity to put all my sewer lines in um, this is actually got a shower um, I put like one of those um, I forgot the name of it but usually you you buy those after you know usually they, they install those after everything is built but I, I prepared it to where um, the way I don't have to do anything else but I think it's got curdy curdy board or something like that for the shower I, I think that's what it is it just came to my mind it's kind of cold out here <laughs> it's windy uh, wind is coming from the north but I'm getting off the subject here anyway back to this I put a one by one on trim on the bottom and the curdy board is gonna be sitting on there I think it's gonna be a 72 by 47 I believe 72 that way 47 this way and I made it a little bit wider on the on this two sides um, because I thought it was too narrow but now that I'm looking at it I think it was just right but it's okay I can always fill it in with um, with uh, some of that sandy looking you know like the mortar or whatever they call it for the shower you know for the pan to to go down the reason I, I drop it here an inch, inch and a half is so I can make it to where you can walk in here without having a a big old thing on the top right here and, and jump you know walk over that I just gotta make it flat and then I'm gonna make a, a wall from here to there uh, that way you know and then put the shower on this side that way I don't have to put any door glass or anything like that it just gotta be like a walk-in shower without curtain or nothing like that um, uh, what else where was I yeah so there's a shower made it into so it's gonna be easy to put it with a curdy board and this right here yeah let me take it out all right so as you can see in there this is a coupling for a four inch coupling put it in there and then I'll put another four inch uh, PVC pipe under under this coupling and I kind of like buried in there hold, held it with the uh, dirt around it I'm up with a little bit of concrete outside of that area so bugs and everything don't come up um, and then I'm gonna put a coupling there two inch so you'll come out to the whatever the uh, drain is but I'm gonna have to size up drain first and the curry board and everything but that's for a later video I don't want to bore you with this just yet if you don't want to miss that the reason I chose curdy board because I I think it's the easiest to install for DIYer than doing it like then doing the little pieces that they put down here to where it's gonna drain uh, the curdy board is already leveled out to where everything drains to whatever you whatever you're trying to place the, the drain on onto like they have curdy boards that have the drain on that side or you can flip it around to end up on this side i show the curdy board that's gonna have um a center drain and uh yeah let me put this back all right so anyway back to my plumbing um i put a so there's a three inch coming this way. I put a Y going that way for the toilet. That's a four inch reduced into a three inch, which is, I explained all that on my first videos for the, the workshop. Um, and that's by code, you know what I mean? Uh, you can do that. That's the only time that you can actually go from three, from uh, from four to three or, or you know, from three to, you cannot do three to two or anything like that. That's the only time that you can do it. Uh, <clears throat> so I put the Y here and then I put the other Y here for the for the shower and then I put like a long sweep three inch going this way 
and then I'll put a long sweep for the two inch where the vent is and I kept going instead of running the pipe how I did it how I did it on the last one on on the workshop that I was building instead of going all the way over there across uh, to do a I was gonna do a uh, RV setup on that side over here I don't need it you know I have my RV set up over here um I just took it this way and I put like a long sweep um clean out here with you know and and I put it's like a long sweep and it's like a Y and it, I put a cap here under there and then over here, I put a Y from three inch to two inch going that way. And that's actually gonna be a urinal. My wife doesn't know that, but <laughs> anyways, uh, it's coming in from that side, going out here. I put a Y right here with a long sweep, you know, three inch to two inch. That's gonna be where the the sink is gonna be to washing your hands and stuff um over here i'm probably gonna end up ended it right here put a wall here and uh i want to build like a little utility or whatever utility room even though i don't have any any kind of drain or anything like that but i can probably put like a freezer or so i don't know i have no idea what i'm gonna do here maybe put a refrigerator here on this corner uh, here's the water line um, The water line is actually see here's the electrical going that way because I'm gonna have to fill this up Because um, right now it's a it's a drop It's hard to tell in the video, but the, the water line is right there, which is gonna go towards the the water well house that I built and If you want to check that one out, it's gonna be up there on the top right uh Back to this the wire line is gonna go straight to this and the electrical is gonna go straight to the uh, electrical which is over there I already have it set up if you want to check that one out I also build my own electrical too it's gonna be on the top right up there um, wire line right here I just put like a little loop right here uh, put a one of those electrical two inch pipe right here and then I put the insulation in there with the uh, with the PEX um, three fourths of an inch PEX tube right here. Now that one is got, I'm gonna put like like a sink for like maybe a little kitchenette or something like that, like a small kitchen. That's why I, that's why I was thinking about putting maybe a refrigerator here. Um, the there's gonna, I'm gonna put a water heater. Which is a, like one of those electric water heaters. Somewhere over here maybe on the wall. Or maybe put it on this side. Uh, maybe right here. Somewhere right here. Because I'm, I'm planning on doing a, a wall. So you can see. This is my... Uh, I beam put that two by six here and then uh, that's the electrical that's for the panel put a wall right here and then maybe put a the water heater right here one of those tankless water heaters and the wall is gonna keep going all the way across to where the other I beam I beam is and then put a door like a rolling door over here somewhere roll up door and you know the high base right here for the 12 by 12 doors I'm gonna have to fill this up too right here and that's it I think and of course put the wall put another wall right here going that way and then that way and then make the entrance on this side for the uh, bathroom so, in case if I'm working out here in the shop, 
you know, I can just come out here, make a like a roll up door here, and and along with the uh, regular walk-in door, so I don't have to open up the uh, walk the roll up door all the time. The roll up door is just to pretty much move bigger stuff in and out into the. Uh, I'm calling it the main cave, but uh, my wife is not gonna agree with that. But <laughs> and. Anyways, uh, make another regular door right here uh, in the middle, and that's it. So I'm really excited that I'm really excited that uh, um, I'm kind of finally able to get the building. See, I'm, let's walk over there so I can show you how it looks like over there now. Oh, this concrete is just—I hate to see that, you know. It's just a lot of wasted concrete here that they dumped but I'm pretty sure they do that or most of the side uh, most of the side jobs but they did the same thing over there where the pump was because actually they I had we had to get a pump to pump all this stuff in because it's, it's higher up and there was no way for for the uh, concrete trucks to just dump it off the back of the concrete trucks so we had to get a pump I think it was only like 1200 bucks or something like that to get the pump and about this much of concrete he sent me back about seven thousand something uh, I forgot what it was seventy seven thousand six hundred or something like that on concrete here uh, that's not counting the footing because that, that's what they poured first they poured the uh, footings but since I paid directly to the concrete company, um, I know how much that was. The 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 guy that was doing the foundation, he actually made me pay him, pay them directly to the pump guy and the concrete guy. So that was, I thought that was pretty nice. And and he got discounted from from the quote that he gave me. Uh, the quote for all of this, it was about twenty three thousand something something like that. Which is ridiculous compared to how it was like three years ago. Same thing with the building, you know. I spent like sixteen thousand for that, and now it's probably worth double that. So, pretty, pretty glad that I had the building already. Other than that, I, I would have had started from scratch and paid probably more money for a building like that, uh, which I think is the 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 building that I bought. The company, Greg Weston Buildings. I think that's the best uh, buildings that they sell in the uh, in here locally or United States. I think they're based out of Colorado or something like that, if I remember right. I don't know. It's been two, three years since I bought it. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you this too before I go over there to the building. Over here, they uh, they have they build the entire perimeter with the... Uh, that's one thing I didn't like about the uh, the guys that came out. They didn't put rebar on the outside perimeter, which is kind of odd. So what I did, I took it up on myself. I had some rebar left over, and I put some uh, extra rebar that I have all the way across. It was raining that day. I got soaking wet out here, but and then same thing on this side. And I ran out of time, you know. I was I was gonna do the whole entire perimeter, but to uh, yesterday they poured the concrete, and I did this on the day before yesterday. And uh, I was uh, it was getting dark on me, so I didn't I didn't finish. Uh, took the rebar back to where I picked it up on the back. But I'm glad that I at least I got this area. Not only that I got this area, I tied. I tied the uh, rebar to those uh, J bolts right there that, that holds the, stru the uh, structure. Now the where Great Western buildings they they make these buildings to where um, the main structure the main, the main thing that holds this building is actually these four I beams, and then there's like two you know like the I beams that go like that on the eaves on the top I mean trussels and uh, and then as you can see this are sticking way in 
because there is another the walls that hold the wall the uh, seat purlings they sit right here all the way down to the to the end of the building that's why I scooted those vents and in, in uh, um, the vent and the urinal and the uh, the sink further in because of the big see purling that goes here that holds that holds the uh the panels on the outside and i'll put a two by six right next to it so i don't have to mess with the structural of the building or the where the metal is over here there's no there's nothing here so that's why i put a two by six i'm gonna put a two by six right here starting that way to where the vent is and then and then where the bathroom ends i'm gonna stop there and i'll put another two by six right next to it starting from there where the i-beam is and i'm gonna butt it to the two to the other two by six to where the electrical is gonna be right there and i'm gonna have plenty of room on this little section two two by six worth to work with wires and stuff like that that's why i put it i put that one further in closer to where the i-beam is so i did that by planning really hard on my brain but <laughs> anyways let's go take a look at the at the workshop all right so here's the workshop so you can see you can even you can even see it there's a kitty in there kitty kitty anyways that's the uh truss trusses that goes on the on the on the top um there's other things in here. I can't even see what's what's going on in there. Um, let's see. There's some panels. I don't know if you can see them in there. Uh, there's the uh, frame for the door. No, no. That's those are the frames for the for the bay door for the garage doors. And uh, there's the frame and the door for the main door. And over there, next to my shadow. As the uh, I have them covered. Those are the garage doors, the 12, 12 by 12s. Over here, I pulled this out to uh, yesterday. It was in there. Pulled it out, and this is where everything is. All the uh, uh, screws and and stuff. So here's are the screws, and I don't know what the heck this is. It looks like the uh, tape for the insulation, maybe, or the bottom insulation. I took the, the the insulation thing out of here because rats were, you know, started eating it. So I took them out. Here's all the uh, nut nuts and bolts in there. Uh, this is for the walls. So if you remember, my old house was kind of like green, like forest green. And that's what we have here. The panels are forest green and the trim is like dark I don't know what dark gray or something like that smoke and uh, and the roof is gonna be galvanized regular galvanized looks like one of the foot bags busted here yep so there's the uh, some screws here falling off good thing they're in this big big bag they don't go past that the bag so well, hopefully this is still good I mean I just noticed that they all screwed there's some uh, washers in there too anyways uh, let me cover this up I don't, I don't think it's supposed to rain this week anymore um, so hopefully they'll they'll come over this weekend and and uh, put this building together because I'm not gonna do it I don't have time anymore um, and I'm getting old too so <laughs> I mean I could do it you know it's not a it's not the old excuse you know that I'm getting old I could do it but it's just too much and if I do it myself it's gonna take me another you know decade for me to finish it by myself so I thought you know I'm just gonna hire somebody and and uh take the loss on that 
even though I like doing things myself, this kind of project I need to do it quick. Uh, we just, in my opinion, I'm just wasting money on storage unit because I have some stuff in there that I need to bring to take out and and uh, that's that was my plan, you know, to take everything out of the storage unit and uh, instead of wasting the money there, put it on the loan and you know it makes sense so anyway this gonna be for this video uh if you if you don't mind just subscribe to me my channel and i would really appreciate it i'm still trying to get to 1000 subscribers uh we're, and like i say you know this it's been a long journey for me to get there but you know if you subscribe i really appreciate it um and uh, the way YouTube does it sometimes, you know, if you subscribe, just keep checking because uh, you might get unsubscribed for some reason. I heard some YouTubers saying that, so it, it might be happening to to my channel too. Uh, make sure if you already subscribed, check to make sure that you still subscribe. Other than that, you know, I lose those subscribers, even though that I've been trying to get for many years, but. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you want to see a preview before YouTube, uh, make sure you check me out on Instagram. Put some pictures on there sometimes of what's going on before YouTube. Uh, also, if you don't mind to liking and subscribing, like I said many times before. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching.